Are you stalking me trying to play Nintendogs and Cats on my 3DS? You pervert. Oh, whatever. I was thinking of making a video anyway. I, I'm, I'm actually really surprised that, like, you actually clicked onto this. Um, it, it would be an honor if you just, like, paused it for a moment and then just went down to that little like button and, and clicked it. It would, it would just make my day. Roll the intro. <sighs> you caught me again! I just, I just can't do anything in front of my camera anymore. Where, where were we at? Oh yeah! As I was saying, it's hard to believe that some of the best silly video games also happen to be some of the least interesting ones. When developers are churning out unnecessary sequels and crappy movie games because they sell millions, the industry suffers. But maybe it's our fault for buying them. Here are 8 best selling video games that shouldn't have sold nearly as well as they did. The first direct sequel to a Final Fantasy game, Final Fantasy X2 is actually kind of fun. Problem is, nobody's going to admit that. In fact, you would have a hard time finding anybody who will confess to actually playing the game, let alone enjoying it. This J-pop themed romp places you in the high-heeled shoes of three singing, dancing Charlie's Angels girls who whirl their way through adventure, changing costumes, and putting on concerts to save the world. It's almost weird to play through, to the point where you would have to change channels if someone comes into the room. There's no reason it should have sold so well. I keep my copy underneath my bed. I was so looking forward to this game. Hyped up as potentially the best game of its generation, Scribblenauts had a revolutionary concept. You could type any noun into the DS and that word would instantly be recognized and created on your screen. Unfortunately, shoddy controls and boring goals led to an underwhelming release, and Scribblenauts never really lived up to the expectations. Even the randomness wasn't very interesting. Creating a robot dinosaur may be funny for like a second, but then you're left thinking, what's next? There was once a day when board games remained board games, but that day is long gone. Battleship has become a movie, Scrabble is all over Facebook, and Monopoly is a video game on just about every platform in existence. The game has sold over 1 million copies on PlayStation alone. Too bad this version was plagued with horrible AI, inflexible rules, and silly graphics. Besides, half of Monopoly's fun is getting to feel your thimble as you move it around the board, or secretly stealing from the bank. While The Port is the best-selling Atari 2600 game of all time, selling 7 million copies, and was the best-selling home video game of all time when it was released, critics focused on the gameplay and audio-visual differences from the arcade version. It was followed by Atari 2600 ports of Pac-Man's arcade sequels, Miss Pac-Man and Junior Pac-Man. Based on the 1982 movie, Warshaw intended the game to be an innovative adaption of the film, and Atari thought it would achieve high scales figures based on its connection with the film, which was extremely popular throughout the world. Negotiations to secure the rights to make the game ended in late July 1982, giving Warshaw only five and a half weeks to develop the game in time for the 1982 Christmas season. The result is often cited as one of the worst video games released and was one of the biggest commercial failures in video gaming history, crashing the video game industry in 1983. E.T. I'm gonna kill you. 
Let's not even get started on the Wii and how it flooded the gaming market with an explosion of mediocre motion control games. It's too depressing. But Wii Fit has amazingly shipped more than 22 million copies. 22 million. That's more than Super Smash Bros. Brawl and Mario Galaxy combined. All for the novelty gimmick that most people will use once a week for a few months while promising to get into shape. Then throw in the garbage when they realize they are not making any progress. Want to lose weight? Eat less and go to the gym. Don't buy more video games. What's frightening about Nintendogs isn't the way that it makes fake digital dogs so adorable that you'll probably do whatever they asked. Nor is it the way that it forces you to constantly check your DS to check if your suburb pet needs feeding or petting. What's truly terrifying is that one day you'll be walking by the park and instead of seeing happy owners chatting while their dogs jump and play, you'll see a group of people all playing Nintendogs on their DSs, occasionally looking up to scowl at each other. Please don't buy the game. Think of the puppies! The Sims is one of the most boring games on this planet. Maybe I don't get it. Maybe there's something consistently appealing about a game with no objectives, no purpose, no real goal than other to watch little people eat and bathe and go to the bathroom. Maybe I'm just too simple to understand why The Sims is the best-selling PC game of all time, spawning countless expansion packs and sequels. But I just can't comprehend how the simulation sold 16 million copies. There's no enjoyment in playing with fake people who act like real people without personalities, even if you get to electrocute them in the shower. <laughs>